Was the night before Christmas, and all was dandy. Santa came down with Cupid's candy. Merry Christmas. What is going on everybody? This is Coach Mayhem. I'm here at Titan Medical Center about to get my blood drawn because if you guys don't know, I preach about this all the time. Blood work, blood work, blood work. Highly important to know what's going on inside your body. You may feel okay, but your blood markers may be all over the place. And if you're not well versed in what uh, all your blood work could entail, there's a lot of different markers in there that can tell them what is going on inside your body. Like your extra dial I was jacked up. If you're having mood swings, that's probably why. They can give you all type of different remedies to fix that. Me personally, I have had one of the best experiences with this company. I've been working with them for four to five years now. They've been great personal friends of mine. I have been injured more times than I care to admit. I've actually spent the last year and a half as a sponsored athlete injured. And I really, really want to send a special shout out and thank you to John and Therese for looking after me during those times because peptides that they were giving me were instrumental in my recovery. I blew out both of my shoulders. As you can see the scars, I cannot make this up. They were telling me six months to recover while I was using a couple other things, their, uh, their EPC, their TB500, and that cut that time down from six months down to, like, I was back in the gym within six weeks. Now, of course, I wasn't lifting massive amount of weights, but with an incredible recovery team with the uh, peptides and the help that I got from here. And then on top of that, them keeping me in check with my blood work, making sure that I am healthy and okay, has been absolutely vital in my not only recovery, but my continuance as an athlete. Because again, let me harp on the blood work again, like with what we do, like it's an obvious risk. So mitigating those risks and knowing what's going on with your blood work is highly important. And I cannot stress this enough to you guys. So. It's too easy, it's too fast to come in here. You see the girls, you get water, you get free clothes, like, come on, like, why wouldn't you go and do it? John and Therese have made this too easy. And then I'll get my uh, records and stuff there over the phone or they'll text it to me. So they make it way too easy for you guys. So come on down to Titan Medical, come get your blood work checked. You may have some stuff going on that you don't even know about. You may have to thank me for it later. My name is Cass, one of the nurse practitioners at Titan Medical Center. I wanted to talk to you today about one of our immune boosting therapies. Right now is a great time to work on your immunity. The weather is getting cold. People are getting the bugs, the flu, the coughing, the sneezing. So how else can you work on that? Boost your immunity. We have a treatment. It is called the Triimmune Blend. This therapy consists of injectable vitamin C, glutathione, and zinc. Zinc has been shown to shorten the duration of the common cold. Vitamin C builds your immune system greatly. And glutathione really pumps up your immune system. So injecting this into your muscle daily or a maintenance dose throughout the week can really improve your immune system during these times of the holidays, especially around many, many people and the change in weather. So if you're interested in learning about the Tri-Immune Blend, give us a call 727 389-3220 or 
or reach us online by visiting titanmedicalcenter.com. Thank you and stay well. What's up guys? It is a beautiful Thursday here in Tampa, Florida, and Tight Medical Center is getting ready to launch their new services, which is Concierge Medicine. That means that we're going to come to you with all your blood, B12 shots, IVs, and some more other treatments that are coming very, very shortly. So come along, let's take a ride in the Sprinter, and go uh, see some patients and start the new Tight Medical Center Concierge Medicine mobile on the go just for you guys. Let's go. Come on. So guys, we're here, we're doing our first blood draw with one of our awesome patients, Anthony. And uh, it was just real simple, real easy. We, we, uh, we've got a document so you guys can see it. You guys are doing the video. What do you think, Anthony? Was this, was it smooth, easy? Yeah, totally smooth, super easy. Yeah. Yeah. So we can finally come to you guys and help you guys out that are super busy like Anthony. He's always on the go, he's always working, he's always got things going on. It's super hard for him to get to a lab or come to the Titan. So you know what, we're coming to you guys. So come along with us on this journey as we just keep expanding tight and getting bigger and bigger. But now we are at our second stop for the day. That's right. So we have uh, one of our other patients, Joey, and uh, he's out at a work site right now because they do restoration. And you know what? On restoration jobs call, you better get your butt out there and get everything done because somebody else will come and scoop that job right up. So. They couldn't leave the job site, so we're like, listen, we're gonna do this concierge thing. We'd be happy to come out and draw some blood from you and a couple of other people that are out here that are interested in Titan Medical Center services. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna get one person that's been with Titan for a while, Joey, and then he's got some new people that are interested in Titan Medical Center and how they can help themselves feel better, look better, perform better. So the blood work for them is probably gonna be the first step because these guys are over 40 years old. So uh, we're gonna draw the blood from all three of these guys right now spin them all down and then we're going to be off to our next location and pop-up so let's go this is exactly what i need i mean if you want to take a shot of outside and see i can't go anywhere i'm stuck on this job the day starts when the sun comes up and ends well into the evening. There's no way we could even get to lab court. It's just that's not feasible. So it's one of the most important things for us is this service right here. So we are approaching our third location. Here in Tampa, I mean, it's been a good day so far. We've been doing some uh, some pretty good time too, as well, getting to these different locations. So we're gonna do another blood draw. So, like I said, multi-use, multi-service. We can do everything mobile now: consultations, blood work, B12 shots, amino shots, IVs, Botox in the future, and possibly a lot, lot more. I mean, possibly it's gonna be a lot, lot more. So I want you guys to come along. Just Keep following us. I'm going to show you all these patients that are getting all this great service that's very convenient to them. A lot of these guys are business owners or work for a big company and they just can't get away. Work is work. We know you got to provide for your family. At that point, you still got to stay healthy and we're going to bring that to you.
so it's easy for you to take care of your health for us to monitor it. All right, so we're here at our next stop, mobile stop, Titan on the go, right? Um, and right now we're giving out B12 shots. Our awesome nurse practitioner Cass is administering it as well. And uh, it's that simple, that easy. Like he's literally at work. We went into one of these, uh, you know, shops that were located inside the mall that I know. So do you guys want any B12 shots? We're here mobily. And at that point they're all like, yeah, we definitely want them, John. So we're coming out one at a time because obviously everybody can't leave the store. That wouldn't be good for business, right? We don't want that. We want over productivity, not less productivity. And that's what it will do for you guys. So corporate wellness, yeah, having your employees feel their best, look their best and perform their best, you will probably get way better numbers all the way through and through. They won't miss as many days because of sickness and you guys will just be more productive year after year. So whether it's just for you or maybe for your company, you might want to look into our Titan Concierge Medicine, our mobile wellness on the go for you guys. This is just one awesome example and we got a couple more to go. So just come right along, stay tuned. So got my awesome nurse practitioner, Cass here. How you doing, Cass? I'm doing well, thank you. So how are you liking the mobile day today? I think we pulled like five bloods, four bloods, somewhere around there, a couple B12 shots already. What do you think? I think we're opening a lot of doors, reaching yes. a lot of people that sometimes can't reach out to us. We can find them. That's right. Help them out. That's right. So if you can't get down to us, we're going to be able to come to you now for all these different things. So just check out some of the video and see what you like and give us a call or text and schedule your mobile concierge medical visit with Titan Medical Center. All right, so we're at our last stop of the day and uh, we're stopping by Salon Lofts. Obviously, my good friend and awesome hairstylist, David Hensley is in the house. Just showing you, I'm, I'm multitasking here. Freebie 12 shots. And a haircut, well, at least a little trim up. Good to go. Big shout out to Dave Hensley for hooking it up. What's up, guys? So we're ending the day here at the Titan Compound. Our first Titan Medical Center concierge mobile day was a huge success. We did multiple blood draws, a ton of free B12 shots, and I had a ton more of interest from new patients and old patients that want to take advantage of this service. All these years, so many different people have been asking us to do these different services. Come out, John, please draw my blood because I can't go to the lab. I can't get down to Titan. I work so much. Please, I have a ton of people that are around me that want to get these services. Even corporate wellness, there's different owners that have contacted me about doing something for their employees to make sure that they have optimal health so they can perform better at their job because we know that somebody that feels good, looks good and performs better is gonna create more productivity for your business and take off less days probably. So it's just been an overall great experience. We had our awesome nurse practitioner Cass out there doing the sticks, drawing the blood, and he did it seamlessly like I know he can do. And everybody really, really appreciated that. Because sometimes when you go to labs, sometimes they have people that are training and they're sticking you and they might not be the best sticks. It's truly an art. And that's what Titan Medical Center and our nurse practitioners have down hat. We know how to do things because we've been doing it for so long. If you guys are interested in the concierge medical Titan services, please call or text us 727-389-3220. Make sure you honk when you see us on the road. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Another one! That's right. And another one, and another one. And Come another one, you. and another one, and another one, and another one. You know it. So every Sunday, me and Sharice, my beautiful wife here, I bring you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, entice, and take your relationship to a whole nother level, and hopefully a good level, right? Um, and don't worry, guys. If you're single or not in a relationship, these will be great things to put in that tool belt for later on. So when you do meet, hopefully, that special person, you can utilize these things and really, really get you know a lot out of these tips and tricks that we're going to give you guys, or just some good information that you might you know just take in and make it yours, however you want to, right? Because different relationships 
require different things. Definitely, 100%, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, as we're talking about relationships, that's going to be the topic of the day. All relationships take work, right? What do you mean? It's like, it's just like an, it's a part-time job though. It's only like 10 to 2. Wait, what do you mean? I thought you can just be like, oh, I'm going to be in a happy relationship and it's going to be the best relationship at all. And poof, there it is. Yeah, it actually does work that way. If you have a lantern. Yep, right? yep. You know, you rub it and a big genie comes out. And what, Oh yeah, for sure. The genie's got it on point. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, so you know, if you don't got the, the lantern and you don't got the genie, you're going to have to put in the work, right? <sighs> and um, this could be a whole bunch of different aspects. It really just depends on how you are as a person, what your partner's like, and really what kind of scenario you guys are in, right? But you know, the basic fundamentals and the work that you have to put in. Obviously, when you guys first meet each other, um, it's like the honeymoon phase. You know, everything's all good, all joyous. It should be anyway. Um, you really don't know everything about each other, I don't think, right? You're starting to learn more and more about your partner. Unless you guys are like friends, like for years and years on end, and then you decide, oh, let's get in a relationship. Then you might know a little bit more about your partner, yep. some of their quirks, um, you know, Twerks. Pros, cons, whatever it is. Twerks, yeah, whatever it is, right? <laughs> I can help myself. You'll know more, more in depth about that person. But usually, um, you're meeting people for, you know, the first time per se, and then you're getting to know that person. You guys start dating, and then you're going to, boom, get into a relationship, right? So when you're doing this, right, you're putting in the work, or you should be anyway. I don't know how this, the dating dating scene is nowadays. I'll never know, but I'll, I'll never know anyway. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, never again for sure. I don't want to get into that uh, craziness. <laughs> but you know, I mean, when you start right as a, as a guy, and things may have changed now, but usually you should court the girl, right? You're you're, you're taking her out on a date. You guys are doing something, whether it's dinner, movies, pup pup golf. You know, whatever it is, right? Whatever you want to take your, your girl to go do or a guy time. to go do, whatever it is. That's right. You're time. putting in the time. Putting in the time. You're spending time together. Yep. You're sharing experiences together, which is creating a bond between you guys, right? This is pretty easy stuff, or it should be anyway. Yeah. So once you're doing this, right, you're putting that time, you're putting that effort on both sides, it really should be coming. So at that point, you guys are really, you know, becoming together, you know, and that's when the relationship hopefully starts. And the relationship can start in a number of different ways, right? And it doesn't have to take a lot of time to start a relationship. It could be short <laughs> with a couple of weeks or it might take a longer amount of time. It could take a couple months. Who knows? Sometimes I really, I mean, I really, I really think it's about how much time you put in. So like when me and John first met, right? We're weird. So don't, don't always go by exactly what we did. Cause it's just, it's, we're just weird. So anyways, when we first met, we literally spent every day and let me take that back we've spent every day together since we've met however um you know in the first and i had my own job he had his own job you know we worked two separate jobs yep. um but we spent like literally every day together like every night together yep. we watched movies in bed we talked you mm -hmm. know it was just like just bonding experiences every single day and night mm -hmm. it was every single day and night and it wasn't even like and it's not that it's not okay for guys to go out and have a good time with their friends or girls to go out and have a good time with their friends. But I do think ultimately, and this is my, my opinion, is that if you're in a relationship, I would only guess that you would want to spend the time that you're not at work with your significant other, right? So like after work, you guys would do dinner and then, you know, maybe have some fun. Or at least I would say three, four nights out of the week, mm -hmm. maybe five nights out of the week, you guys are spending that time together. Mm -hmm. So it's really weird to me anyway that, you know, sometimes I'm hearing about some of these relationships and you'll go like three days without seeing your boyfriend or like, you know, and you're trying to build this relationship, but you're going like three or four days without seeing each other. Or you, there's not even like a good reason why either. It's just, oh, I, I'm at my place and she's at her place and it's whatever. But like, why are you go? Why don't you guys hang out at the same place? Yeah. After work yeah. and like talk. I mean, because if you don't if you don't start talking and get that time with each other, because you can't nothing replaces time. Time is time, right? That's right. It's not. You can't get it back. Nope. You can't pay for it. Nope. You can't go buy it. You know, it's just time is special. Yeah. So you got to spend that time in order to be able to really develop the relationship you're trying to you know trying to get. Yeah. It's the same thing with like a, a child, a dog, like anything, mm -hmm. any type of relationship with anyone. Mm -hmm. You got to put the time in. That's right. You know, and then that's how you build. That's so right. I mean, I think if you're in a relationship and you guys are dating, I really think you should be seeing each other more than like twice a week. 
You know, yeah. I mean, it, it, especially it, listen. If you got a job, and you got to travel, you got to work, whatever it is. Yeah, that's, that's one thing, right. right? If you guys are in the general vicinity of the same town or city, let's you guys call are like three miles Tampa, away from each other. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's pretty normal. I mean, I would want want to think that, and especially in the beginning, as you guys are getting to know each other and you guys are, you know, going towards being boyfriend and girlfriend and having a serious relationship. Um, then, yeah, you're going to probably want to spend majority of your time with that girl or guy, whatever it is. Um, you know, you want to. It's not forced on you. Right. They're not making you. Like, you genuinely want to, right? You're like, I got, I'm taking care of my work, right? I, maybe I go get my workout in, and then I'm going to spend time with my girl. Um, because I want to be there, right? I, I want to be by her. I want to be next to her, you know, get the loving in, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. But you want to be by, you know, you know, the person that you're wanting to get in this relationship with. Um, when you don't spend that time together and you really start spending the majority of the time apart, then are you got you know, is, how's that going to go? Like, you know, do you guys keep growing together or do you guys maybe growing apart in some ways, yeah. circumstances? You know, that could happen, right? Um, it just, it's just really, it, I don't know, it, it's different. Everybody out there right now and when the dating scene is, I ask all my friends, I look by curiously <laughs> through them, you know, how everything is out there? How's it going? Like, what are you guys going through? You know, so I can hear the inside scoop. And most of the guys are the exact same, right? That, you know, if they're with a the girl, they really like a girl, they start dating a girl, they start spending more time with the girl and less time with the friends and less time out, right? right. Because they're not looking for anything out, right? right. They're, 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 they're adamantly like, you know. Wanting to hang out with their I, sister. I've got everything I need right now. Yeah. Okay, I don't need to go out to the bar. It's like fun to, to hang with out friends. with your significant other. Yeah, now, or don't get me wrong, you know, guys night out or guys like to go hang out with guys and talk about guy stuff i totally <laughs> understand this right you know because some things you're probably not gonna be able to talk to your girlfriend about especially in the beginning you know you don't want to embarrass yourself or you want to make yourself maybe look a certain way i don't know there's all different <laughs> types of things out there so i understand maybe you want to go out blow some steam off with the guys but uh you know at that point i don't think you need to you know to a certain extent now all your guys might be running you through the bus or running you over saying ah 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 you're p whooped ah 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 ah, ah. <laughs> you know and then and then you get that right you're giving that flack and like you know we'll ask him like you know what about his girls now you don't have one that's how it is <laughs> oh, oh, oh <laughs> you have no whoopings and you know i mean you know those guys you know they might be able to get girls and no stuff whoopings like that for you <laughs> but it's not achieving like true happiness right you know right. anybody can go out hook up Right, and at that point, what's it worth? Even guys out there, I talk to them, right, and you know, just hooking up with a girl doesn't mean anything, right? It's like I hook up with a girl, so cool, and then after I'm done hooking up with the girl, like I'm like, all right, I'll get you an Uber, and you gotta go home. So they really, really <laughs> want to spend time with them, right? It's, it's just all about the physical touch and the love, and, and you're out the door. Yeah. But you know, when you find a mental connection as well as a physical connection, yeah. I think that draws you in more. I think you're going to be more enticed more. I think that everybody out there wants to find love or a significant other or partner. Um, majority of people, yeah, I have you know one of my friends, going to be 40 years old this July, <laughs> you know, has a baby <laughs> and hasn't like settled down. Like he never every, will. Every time he never. And I'm about will. to see him in a couple of days. Uh, he never every will. time, right? He'll be like, yeah, I'm like, oh, you know, this girl, and, blah. and then he'll get the girl, right? He'll get her, like, oh he's got her God. locked up, and then once he has her locked up, it's like, oh, challenge is over. What else can I do? I mean, I've literally had like Sharice was with me when we went up there. It was years ago, oh and he God. had a serious girlfriend. Was... Her name was Karen. I'll never forget. Her name was real Karen. nice, right? Her and name Karen, was Karen. Right? <laughs> it's real nice, real nice Karen. She wasn't one of the mean ones. Wow. And, uh, you know, she's literally, like, we get home. I took, we all went out to, like, a nightclub in Chicago. We stayed at my friend's house. We go back there, right, because, you know, he's having people or whatever. The girlfriend's like, ah, oh, I'm tired. He's like, all right, go to bed. So she goes to bed, right, and then what does he do? He gets on the phone. He calls up a couple girls, and he tells them to it. come over. Next, next, next remote. So we're literally out in the living in room. In the same apartment. When these other girls are coming over to see him, he's specifically trying to hook up with another one while he has his girlfriend sleeping in, in, in the other room and literally down the hallway. Now, obviously that's not right, right? I'm but, like, John, you are never hanging out with this man, ever. But it was kind of <laughs> funny because, I'm, I mean, not, not funny for the girls, <laughs> but it was just a funny situation. Like, the balls on this guy to be able to do this, you know, because I don't think I'd ever do that. That is good. But, you know, but, he's he's you pretty... Know, this is just this is just some of the funny stories and trust me i've got a ton more of these stories oh yeah they're great um you know and some with the same guy but uh you know it's just it's just funny so you know at that point some people might never be content um but i think there is somebody out there for everyone it's just you know you have to go through some of the 
trials garbage and, tri- and trials, trials and tribulations, and tribulations to you're find gonna it. do it and you gotta keep keep with it and that's the next thing when you find the treasure don't treat it like garbage and trash and like everything else that you find on the street right that's when you really got to put in the work and that's when you really want to you know make yourself vulnerable to a certain extent open up to that person as long as everything's going well right that's not something you do in the first date but as you're working and you're spending more time together, you're learning more about that person mm-hmm. and they're learning more about you. And that's bringing you guys closer together. And it doesn't end there because once you get in the relationship, listen, now you guys are, you know, getting to the serious part. And you might be moving in together and talking about it just engagement. Keeps, it keeps going. Even babies. when you're past the baby and the marriage and all that, you get to a 10 year mark, right? Yeah. We're past the 10 year mark. And then you're like, okay, so what do we do to make sure that we, you know, keep each other happy? You know, what do we do to make sure that everybody's still content and they're 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 liking the relationship still, you know? And it's pretty easy to do. Just go back to the first steps of what you did in the relationship to mm-hmm. begin with. Yep. You were all about it. You were courting her. You were taking her out. You might have been buying her some roses here or there. Whatever it may be. Go back to that point. Don't become complacent. I'm like, oh, whatever, I, you know, she's cool, you know, I already got her, it is what it is, you know, I'm, I'm concentrating on this or that. <laughs> or even take the minute, like, you know, me and John are busy. We went, I, Honestly, I think I might be one of the most busiest people on the planet outside of the President of the United States, and even so, I am definitely, nah, I'm, basement, I'm definitely busier than the President of the United States. I, you have to take that moment, too, when you've been, like, in a relationship for X period of time, and I, you, it could be a year, it could be two years, three years, four years, five years, ten years, twenty years, whatever it is. And recognize that, oh, shoot, we haven't spent, like, any time together in, like, two, three weeks. You know, because it's just get up, work, go to sleep, get Baby, up, work, whatever, go to sleep, baseball. Kids. Now it's, like, literally, it's sleep, work, baseball, sleep, work, baseball, 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 then more work, 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 and then some sleep, then baseball. Yeah. All I see is baseballs in my dreams, okay? It is. <laughs> so it's okay. As long as my son turns out to be an MLB player, we're good. So I, I, I'm willing to sacrifice. However, it, it does intervene with our personal time. Okay. So you have to take a moment to be like, wait a minute. We haven't spent any time together. We need to go to like, we need to go to like a movie or like we need to go to dinner, right. you know, or do something. Right. It takes what, an hour or two, two hours out of your day to go yep. do something and yep. recognize that it's like, oh shoot, this has been happening. And you don't go the whole year and be like, oh shoot, we haven't seen each other for a whole year. We're just busy. Yeah, And that, that puts strain on the relationship too, trust me. Um, so that, that's just some tips and tricks for you guys. Yeah, that's lots of tips and tricks. Keep working on your relationship. Don't ever stop. Right? Yeah. It's a full-time gig, just like anything else you're going to do. you got to put in the work. What you put in is what you get out. True. All right? So that's just some great advice from me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice. So, guys, we'll see you guys next Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m. If you missed the live show, DVR it. If not, go to YouTube. Type in Type Medical Center, hit the subscribe button and the all notification bell, and you'll get all these great episodes and a lot more cool content (laughs) with me, Sharice, the Titanettes, the Titan crew, and all the therapies we offer. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then.